Money.com. When it comes to saving and investing for retirement, people really have no clue as to how much they should invest or save. And uh, so the question is, since I do not know how much to save or invest, I will do nothing. Now that is a very defeatist attitude. If you do not know how much you have to save or how much you have to invest for your retirement, at least do something, right? Do 1,500 rupees a month if you are 18 years of age or do 2,000 rupees a month or do 3,000 rupees a month when you are 22 years of age. Just make a start. It doesn't matter how much you require for your retirement. Even when you are 55, it is very difficult to estimate how much will be your expenses at 85. Even when you are 75, it is impossible to calculate how much you will require at 95. We all put in some numbers and do a lot of guesswork. Will you get 8% return in equity? Will you get 7% return in equity? Will inflation be 4%? Will inflation be 9%? Will you get 16% return in equity? None of us know, right? So we put in some number, but you know that you will require something for your retirement. So what you need to do is go to these calculators and see how much you need for retirement. If you are 22, how will you estimate how much you will need for your requirement? You have no clue how much you are going to earn, what profession you are going to be in, you have just got your degree, you are looking for your first job. It's very difficult, but you can start with 50 rupees a day, that is 1500 rupees a month or 2000 rupees a month. The advantage of starting small is you will never interrupt it, right? Because you are earning 25,000, 30,000 a month and to start with and then your salary goes up to 80,000 and 2000 rupees, well it doesn't hurt. Initially maybe you thought why should I, but slowly as your income increases it doesn't hurt you at all and if you did something called an auto step up, which means end of every year it goes up by let's say 10%. So 2000 became 2200, becomes 2400 because you are increasing it by a fixed 200 rupees per month or it could be 10%. So 2000 becomes 2200, then it becomes 2420. You understand how it increases the impact of compounding. You could do that. Now let us see what happens. Let me look at the numbers in the book. I'm talking of this book. Uh, let us say you want five. Let me just read. Uh, for instance, let's suppose that uh, you need to cobble together 5 crore over a 40 year period and you think you'll get 12% per year and you put it in the calculator, you realize that you require only about 3980 which is slightly under 4000 rupees per month to cobble up 5 crores. Is 5 crores enough? You have no clue. But is 4000 affordable? That is the question that you would ask. Maybe 4000 is affordable when you are 23 years of age. So make a start. You know you are investing 4000 rupees, you know you are going to uh, keep investing that over a regular period of time or you are going to increase it by 10% every year. Now what happened is, uh, you have a friend who decided that uh, well uh, it's too early, 25 is too early so I will start when I am 35. Perfectly alright, nothing wrong. You go to the same calculator, you put in the numbers and you realize that uh, you now have 30 years to build that uh, 4 crore corpus and it gives you a number which uh, looks a little more difficult. It is about 14,000 per month as, at the same 12%. Now what happens if it becomes 11% or 10%? Well, this 14,000 will go up. Now, if you had not started at all at, uh, at your age of 25, you will have to do 14,000 rupees at 12% and if somebody tells you 12% is not sustainable, India is going to become a developed country, you are going to get some 6% or 7%, obviously the amount of money that you invest will change and it will go up and it will go up dramatically, right? What happens if you think, oh, but I think I will make up in uh, return what I have lost in terms of uh, time? Well, if you get it in terms of uh, return, that is great, but you cannot get it on the return on a solid, regular basis for the next 30 years. Just banish the thought that you will get 26% return and 24% return. Yes, you will get your 22% return and 24% return. Why? You may even get 60% return, but that will be a one-off great year. 
the number we are chasing is the CAGR. How much does it grow year on year for 30, 40 years? Believe me, as you increase that N, what you can get over three years, maybe you can get even 24%, 25%. You know, a, a great bull run doing that. But to sustain 12, 13% over 30 years and you go to world history, it has never happened, right? So you will have to scale down your expectation of return as the number of years increase. So the earlier you started, so ideally if your father or mother had started an SIP for you when you were zero and there are families which do it, obviously you would be extremely well off by the time you are 45, 50 assuming that you did not touch that corpus, right? So compounding is about starting early increasing the amount regularly and not touching it for a very long period of time like how you would deal with a mango tree right you do not ask the mango seed how many mangoes will i get you do not know how many mangoes you will get you do not know how long it will last and you do not know whether you will live and whether the mango tree would live far beyond you don't get into that this is the wealth creation retirement process get into the process invest money regularly start as soon as you can invest in equities which could be a SIP in an equity fund increase it regularly maybe by 5% whatever it is increase it regularly once in a while if you have a surplus keep dumping into this account and then at 45 or 50 or 55 when you have a look at it you will feel very happy that you denied yourself some small pleasures in the past and you have a decent amount of corpus which is going to last you till you live and that could be a very long number and you also realize that if you had not started early you perhaps may not have started at all till a very late stage and realize this is beyond me right so starting early has all those huge advantages it's purely psychological saying i have something and it is also mathematical that over a long period of time n in the compounding formula which means the number of years for which you invest is far more important than how much you invest of course you invest a big amount uh, for a long period and the markets do well and you get good return obviously you will have a much higher corpus but that's okay because wealth generation is intergenerational and multi-decadal multi-generational multi-decadal you create wealth then your son creates wealth then your daughter creates granddaughter creates wealth right multi-generational wealth creation so whether you see the birlas or you see any of the families which have got so much of wealth it is just that somebody in their family knew about compounding 175 years ago or 200 years ago somebody in your family didn't that's the difference Thank you.